deal with airplane peanuts. So I am a dumb bitch. How can I not be so stupid and keep my husband? I want to keep him happy. And I think all the women listening to, they want to know the secrets to I'll a good you, relationship. I'll tell you the secrets. Yeah, let's, oh. I'm writing them down. I'll tell you the secrets. Oh, oh yeah, put put your yeah, yeah, Let me tell you the secrets. Yeah, yeah. Okay. go ahead. Taking I, I don't think most women understand what men are looking for in general from life. Okay. And it's not just relationships. It's in general from life. If you want to keep your man happy, you need to think, how do I make my man look better to the world? How do I make him look better in front of other men? You know what? If I were to just make him two coffees and shut the fuck up. Yeah. He's going to look like the big G and he's going to be in love with me. That's what you have to do well, as a woman. Well, a let cobra. me let me just stop you real quick and say something. You got a lot of work to do. <laughs> <laughs> Me? Yeah. I brought you two coffees this morning because because you were coming in and I said, Tommy, here's your two coffees. I did. I'm just saying he made a lot of sense. And just, what are you fucking? Just, I'm just saying, keep taking notes. Don't even talk to me. You ever get in a fight with your girl and then just tate it up for an hour? <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you mean? You don't do that? Cobra tape. You know, just, just do yeah, the cobra you just tape. Yeah, you just get a swipe on some tape. <laughs> Bro, that's it. Mm. Cool. Oh, no, his profile cobra, cobra tape. tape. That's his whole thing. I think that cobra was him tape. as a kickboxer. His uh, thing was Cobra. Uh, yeah. I don't know how I know oh, that, yeah. but I know yeah. that. You don't know, <laughs> these I know things, that. Bro, y'all know about the man. It's okay. <laughs> no, he's undeniably funny. You can't even act like a guy not funny. It's funny. Yeah, he's funny. He's funny, funny bro. <laughs> Put a girl's body count on her forehead. Solve all the problems <laughs> in the world. <laughs> he said that to a woman. It's bang out the machete, boom in the face, mm -hmm. and grip her by the neck. Shut up, bitch. Um, what's he doing there? Cutting her head off? Uh, he's just describing uh, how he would attack a female partner if she ever uh, accused him of cheating. And he goes, it's bang out the machete, boom in her face, and grip her by the neck. Like, you, you got to threaten her. So you got it right up next to her. Well, but if my whole thing is, if he didn't cheat, mm -hmm. and she's accusing him of cheating, how's he supposed to respond? <laughs> I'm, I'm confused. You think it's real? Oh, I think it's a funny character. I think, no, no, no. No, this has been going on for years. This has been a buildup of him trying to get people to be. It's his genius, wow. though. But like, but is it though? Like, is that what you want to be known for? Is that really like you're a piece of shit towards women? Well done. That's your legacy. Yeah. Well done, man. Yeah. There's always going to be a place on the internet for guys explaining to incels that they can't get laid but because percent, women man, hate million them. Million percent. Yeah. Like, like uh, this guy, uh, the Netflix documentary that they've just done, the most hated yeah. man on the internet. It's literally Andrew Tate, but like 10 years ago. This is not the first <laughs> time we've seen this. This guy, was it? Uh, are you, are you up.com or whatever the fuck? Yeah, yeah. This is Andrew Tate. It's yeah. the same guy. Now, now, now that being said, <laughs> if... you're not even original. At least be original, you prick. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is a, a red pill most people don't want to accept. But if any man, if you were to get any man on the planet and say to him, you have a wife and she loves you and she's going to remain loyal to you and you can still fuck around with other women. Wow. Do yeah. you want that yes or no? If any man's honest, he's going to say yes. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> it's the game. Every point he tries to make, he'll be like, if I get a new car yeah. and, and leave it in the garage yeah. and someone try it and you know, these kids are like, oh yeah, it's so simple. Yeah. All you had to do is talk about it in terms of a Lambo. Yeah. And now I get it. I think it's so funny. It's like that. women are not cars, dude. <clears throat> well, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was like, I wish they were. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be careful. Be careful with that analogy. Yeah, I'm the wish I could be married to a car. No, I'm just the I'm just the neurodivergent one who takes it literally. Run into Andrew Tate at a coffee shop. It's like it's my girlfriend and it's just a car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, What? I'm like, Yeah, you told you me. You said. Like, there's that it's one like thing a you car. said about you know. If anyone were to get in it, I'd be upset. Like, absolutely. Yeah. You know, I'm afraid that you're looking at her right now. <laughs> yeah. I don't want her. To, I don't want her to like drive away with it. My dog Marshall. Have you ever met Marshall? Uh -uh. Sweetest fucking animal that's ever existed. Yeah. All he wants to do is love everybody. Oh no, I did meet him everybody's once at the old friend. studio. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, everybody's his friend. Yeah, yeah. But he's an ancestor of a wolf. Yeah. They've turned him into this thing through yeah. thousands of years of breeding. Is that what just they're doing like to they're us? trying to do to men? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 
Yeah. That's what they're trying to do. Where's tonight? Andrew Tate when you need yes, him? Yes, this is just toxic <laughs> femininity shit or masculinity. Toxic femininity is right. That was a Freudian slip. But toxic masculinity, what that means is like, oh, you mean the men who carved the world. Yes. Now like, you don't need them. Yeah. So exactly. now you want to get rid of them. But you do need them. You just don't think you need them because yeah. you don't need them right now. And, and, and then, then Russia has exactly. them. And China is making them more. China's making them yeah. more masculine. The bigger you get, the more of a target you become. And listen, I'm not saying Andrew Tate is, you know, I don't think he should be the go-to for, I think young guys listening to him probably will get some bad ideas in their head. But there's young people often have bad ideas in their head and good ideas in their head. And they sort them out as they get older. This is not new. None of this is new. I had bad ideas in my head when I grew up. And it, you know who they were from? My parents. It, you know, now there's people on the internet that can influence people for sure. But there's a lot of other people that can influence you too, positively and negatively. I don't see any rule. The ruling is gavel, put him back on social media, please. I don't see any reason holding the machete to someone's neck. If that's a problem, well, I don't know. Get me out of here. He didn't do it. He said it. Yeah, so I'll put a machete to someone's. I mean, that's hypothetically speaking, he would do such a thing. If he said, if right, X then Y. If I'm accused of cheating, I'll use the machete. But he's not really going to do it. It's probably a goof. It's a joke. I don't know. Never before has this happened in history. A guy that lives in Romania and does what he does there, which is own casinos, apparently. Has slaves? <laughs> that's a crazy. I don't know that's what he crazy does. People thing. have slaves. That you can't just say people have that's slaves. That's the allegation. Slaves? Female sex slaves. <laughs> that, that makes it better. I don't that's know like, oh, what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the rules of Romania. My point is, he is showing up on my feed non fucking stop, stop, dude. I'm not clicking on it. It's just next video is him. In that accent, which I don't know what the fuck country yeah, that I'll is. I'll be trying to figure that shit out, too. God damn it, bro. It's nonstop, yo. Yeah, it's so cap. You cook about every <laughs> single video. Well, so. <laughs> what crazy shit this guy going to say to a woman's face right now? This is kind of impressive. <laughs> well, he's like, people are cutting up my videos and then misrepresenting me. And he's like, there's no way that I can't be misrepresented. So I'm going to like stop putting out anything until I can figure out how to like a way around not being misrepresented. And, but I'm then also you're like, you're not some, I'm sure sometimes you're misrepresented, but also some of those clips are. Well, no, cause yeah, you kind of like, for example, the big ones that go viral, like the women not driving or whatever. Yeah. Like you said that on like five podcasts. Exactly. Like that was like a, a bit, talking point. A talking yeah, point. Yeah. Yeah. It was like a bit. Yeah. yeah. Which like, it's one, yeah. Which is funny. You're like, why, why, why is that worthy of you getting kicked off? Yeah, exactly. Of the internet. 100%. <laughs> like, that's yeah, yeah, crazy. Yeah. So that was, do you th but do you think like to what degree is it uh, conspiracy where like a guy from YouTube and a guy from Facebook are like I don't think it's a guy but <laughs> <laughs> at Facebook or YouTube no I don't think it was a guy that was behind this no no I'm saying I'm sure they've had a meeting at at these companies is it under is it where like, they go hey this is guy's it under a bridge like a bunch of like a one facebook guy one executive one tinder guy one rum, like one rumble guy shows up they go you weren't invited to this he goes yeah you're right i'll yeah, see myself out yeah. yeah. like, <laughs> you know what so many women say to me you're so andrew Jeez. you know what you're so rich but you're smart and you're actually very intelligent and i know you'd get really bored of a like a robot and i'm sitting there thinking bitch i wish to god you're a robot <laughs> You better shut the fuck up. We talk about star signs? Oh, yeah, I'm so glad. Tell me more about by Sagittarius rising, you idiot. There's yeah. no such thing as too submissive. There's no such thing. There's, I'm never going to look at a beautiful woman who does everything I say and go, you know what? You do too much of what I say. I want to go get some disagreeable bitch. Yeah, exactly. Wow. On one See, planet. But, Cobra, let me tell you what you're saying. If there's truth to it, and judging by my husband's reaction, yeah. listen, we've had world famous comedians sit across from him. He's never spit coffee out of his nose like well, he just did for you. It's because it's it's like you know what it is. Sometimes you see these videos of these guys that are lost, and then they walk into a church, and then the <laughs> the, the preacher says like the exact right thing from the Bible, and the guy's like, "Oh my God, I, this is what I needed." Yeah. I feel the same way right now. I feel like yeah. I love to hear that, friend. Yeah, I love to hear that. Good. Thank it's you. It's really good to have you here. And what speaking, is happening? speaking. If I could be, I don't know, uh, to borrow from them, I think you're kind of speaking the gospel right now. Why do you mm. think that you got under his skin? Because we're very good at what we do. Like we, we, we. 
we psychoanalyze people with like minimal effort. Like, you know, you like this is a guy who missed a few hugs of his mother. I think we can all agree. <laughs> There's a man there. You know, my, my mother always said, judge a man by how he talks about his mother and women in general will fall suit as well, right? And I go, yeah. I, we joke on. Right. We, we what joke did I say on. about my mom? But like, <laughs> she's getting good dick. Yeah, and, and, and so she should, man. So, so she, she should. should. Y'all don't Let care if your mom's dick. getting good dick. But this, y'all care. this guy missed a few hugs, you yeah, know what I mean? I got Clearly. <laughs> and um, it's a sad state of affairs, you know what I mean? If that, if, if Mrs. T had fucking... I'm sorry, you gotta give us a second <laughs> to laugh at this guy. I'm sorry, he no, talks no, no. crazy, man. It's funny to me, bro. He he they think crazy. that I'm Andrew Tate, bro. <laughs> bro. They think <laughs> just because my mom is Scottish and doesn't hug as much. She no. left you on a swing one time. <laughs> yeah, she bro. left you on the swing? She did leave me on a swing and I got a rash, but it is what it is, <laughs> okay? I forgive. They seem like they're removing people with whom they have underlying ideological differences and they're just trying to figure out how to get rid of them. And again, I'm not joining Hustlers University. I won't be signing up. But I don't think you should. this guy should be uh, removed. I, I don't, you know... What is, like, do, do they even tell anyone why? Well, they just say you're misogynist, but then they don't, like, the, the thing is they don't link you to the specific thing you But do. wasn't it's he a misogynist a, a month ago when he was on, too? Like, this is what I don't understand. Mm. What, 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 what's changed? Why can't a misogynist talk? I don't understand. He thinks, let's say he thinks men are better than women. Mm -hmm. Let's say he has that belief. Mm. I mean, I don't know. It can should he not be able to say anything? You know? I I I'm just I'm unmoved. People will counter his belief with their own beliefs. It was like on Super Bowl Sunday I had a joke and it was like uh I was like, uh, yeah, countries that treat women the worst have the best food. Yeah, and that's was, a funny fucking mm -hmm. bit, dude. Okay, right? So yes. it's like, and it's weird. Like, people that have saw, saw the bit and it was just like Reddit made it fucking go. Yeah. And like everything else trickled down after that. I'm sure you guys experienced this too. Like, one thing goes viral. Like, yeah. when you guys fucking made Andrew Tate a superstar. <laughs> Remember that? When now that my whole fucking algorithm is Andrew Tate. Like, yeah. <laughs> dude, I can't even open TikTok with my wife because every other video is like, bitches need to be quiet. Put their number on the forehead, dude. Right? <laughs> you know, it's you know, your guy's fault. You know, hundred percent your guy. That when I did, you I had did. to spit out the fucking coffee. If you didn't spit out the coffee, was, <sighs> when I did uh, my birthday shows in Chicago, they were at an, an arena, and on my birthday, they they played a supercut of people wishing me birthday, my happy birthday. Please, and it was me. like. It was like Mulaney, yeah. Chappelle, <laughs> Burt, like all these people. And then Andrew Tate. And they went. Well, they went crazy. And also <laughs> that week he was arrested for trafficking women. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, dude. And so you hear people go like, oh. I was like, oh. Whoops. Yeah, charges were dropped. Bro. I want to say, Tate, I know those charges were dropped yeah. and you didn't do yeah. anything wrong. So I didn't know yeah. the charges were dropped. Yeah. And I still wanted them on the podcast. Yeah. Because He's it was hilarious. like, it was just charges. Yeah. You know? And uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe he was talking a lot of shit or whatever. But He's like, fucking fantastic on mic. He's I mean, funny. He is, so funny. And he's, look, I'm going to be honest. That he is a smart guy. He's yeah. actually a very yeah. smart guy. Yeah. Super articulate. Has like He's charming. He's charming. And he actually gets that. It's a joke. He it's gets, the, joke. He gets yeah. that he's entertaining you. Yeah. And, yeah. and yeah. sometimes you listen to him and you're like, is he fucking right? Yeah. I think I yeah, think this like, guy's fucking right. You're like, like, do I agree with this man? You're like, am I a dumb do? woman? Yeah. I should know my place. <laughs> now, here's where I come in. Mm -hmm. This is where the insight comes in with, from Yanni. And I'm right. People are hungry for like some real funny, right? Some real talk, some real funny that they end up enjoying these absolute buffoons like him and Trump because they're the only ones that go all the way. They go all the way. So if you starve people enough and keep throwing them this bullshit content and these bullshit comedy specials and these bullshit shows that people don't want yeah. and you take all of like the real entertainment from them because of this whole 
cool thing now to try to act like a saint, like you're you're better than everyone and you're purer than everyone. This whole puritanical uh, zeitgeist that we're dealing with now, where everyone's going, where'd you get those sneakers? Do you know about the slave labor? Yeah, yeah. It's because of that, people end up, they get so starved, they end up embracing people like this as almost a little bit of a fuck you. Yeah. As a little bit of a, and these people are doing this to fill a void. Because there's no void. There's a lack of diversity. Yeah, and most people won't go to this extent. Like, I won't go to this extent to get attention, right? Because I have integrity. But people like Andrew Tate and Donald Trump don't. So they will go to whatever extent to self-aggrandize. Uh -huh. They'll go to. They'll say whatever to do whatever to make the, the crowd pop, okay? When you watch Donald Trump perform at his rallies, he ain't trying to be thorough and fair he's trying to pop the crowd yeah andrew tate is trying to say the most shocking shit to pop the crowd in a reactionary way so they're both very similar look they even both form stupid universities yeah they both have their universities they're warm-up comedians i mean <laughs> yeah they're trying to pop the crowd they're local comedians yeah they're local comedians popping the crowd with local references. <laughs> <laughs> you really think that he's he just needs a hug? That's what it uh, is. he needs. His his mother needs to come back in his life. Um, like, let's be real here. Where is she? Someone needs to have a word. Where do you think? I don't know. I man. think she's. It sounds like he got under your skin a little bit. Oh, he got under my skin. It sounds I, like I it. I think I'm not the one who's been talking about him for four years, bro. He's. I'm literally. This is the first time I've ever talked about him. Really? You've asked me. I couldn't give a shit about Andrew Tate. Really? Mm. Would you box him or celebrity boxing? Well, he has Jake a fighting Paul? background. If, 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 well, I mean, I see, if I he come up to me it. in my face, yeah. I would absolutely punch him in the face. But am I going to make effort to go running every morning? No. I don't care. <laughs> You know, he's not worth that. Yeah, I he's not worth that. that. So much. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, first of all, Tate's been around forever. Really? Yes, he was the one who tweeted a thing like Star Wars oh, is yes. for nerds. Oh my god, yeah. and we read that tweet, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, Tate's been around a long time. Wow. Tate's been around a long time. <laughs> yeah, man, he's been doing his thing, bro. Just grinding, he deserves it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I am not defending Andrew Tate's message. Don't get me wrong. I, I'm i not defending somebody who put hands on a woman, even if it was playing. Like I saw the video, it was a little extreme. If y'all haven't seen the video... It's an extreme video, even if it did turn her on. I, I think it was really extreme. I'm not defending him saying that women have to take responsibility for things that happen to them against their will. I'm not defending that. What I'm defending is the opportunity to say anything. That's I don't if we can have twerking videos, you can watch a whole porno on Twitter. You can watch a whole porno on Twitter. Something that somebody has said, regardless if you agree or disagree with it, is doing more harm than seeing actual porn. My 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 seven year old can go access porn on Twitter. She can see the visual. She can see the visual of a man and a woman doing it. But his words, his words are causing more harm than that. Listen to rap music, man. L listen to rap music. Like, I'm old enough and I'm grown enough and mature enough to know that it's play play. A lot of this stuff these rappers rap about is not real. But kids can be influenced by that. I don't feel like Andrew Tate is any worse than a rapper. They're all personas. They're egos. They're things that you create to become popular. Every time I hear somebody who's anti him, they go, well, he's really big with teenagers. As if this isn't a mature adult, like, you know, Jake Paul was big with teenagers. Uh, yeah, this guy's big with anybody who has awesome. a brain to me. The, to, yeah, to me, this guy's big with everybody. They took like, all his, yeah. This guy's big with males. This guy's big with males. It's just not That's teenagers. That's a huge sin. Now, teenagers might be into it because there's no outlet for this. Right. But who, yeah, are you to, it. who are you to silence him because teenagers find him motivational or whatever yeah. it's dangerous Brendan. yeah because he's corrupting the youth of athens <clears throat> yeah. they killed socrates because he was corrupting the youth of yep. athens yep. andrew tate is not an outlier is my point he's more of the normal prototype of the person who gets famous now the person who becomes president, the person who becomes governor, the person who becomes state senator, the per person who becomes congressperson. He's, it's more the prototype now. The more outrageous and outlandish you can be, 
the more attention you're going to get because they're suppressing everything else. Yeah. They're suppressing everything else. So you either toe the line and you're a perfect good soldier for for the PC so there's no problems that come to the company or the or whatever, the reputation. You either toe the line and pretend that you're a pure angel and you're for justice of everything. Meanwhile, you, you're revving up your private jet or whatever the fuck you're doing that makes you a hypocrite. Either you pretend like you're that and say nothing controversial or anything true and, and perfectly pure, or you're an absolute fucking sociopathic fame whore yeah. who will say or do anything for attention like Andrew Tate.